Today we are going to be talking about Jupiter in the 10th house. Jupiter is um, happiness, expansion, joy, luck. Yeah. The 10th house is how you are known amongst your groups. It's your midheaven. It's the highest point in your chart. It's not groups like 11th house and not how you're known like first house. It's like your broad spread reputation, your online reputation. It's really big with the 10th house and just people that see you maybe like if you work at a big job where you go to high school people who see you and they know about you but they don't really know you or they've never spoken to you so your reputation it is career um what type of vocation you might desire not necessarily the one you work in but the one you want and it's not your destiny like your ascendant but it is your goals of where you're trying to get to your destiny of your ascendant is more like where life will take you to start off make it simple we're going to start with career um you may have a lot of opportunities thrown to you career wise opportunities that are bigger than others like uh, for a higher position job for a higher paying job you might just have more opportunities like if most of us fill out you know 10 job apps we might expect one or two people to call us back you might expect five to seven to call you back every time because that's just your average and that's what you're used to you get more opportunity with career in multiple ways it can show itself as you can apply for jobs that maybe a lot of people apply for but you're the only one who gets it it may be a very exclusive position or people just might readily like those who interview you or you know the company that you're trying to work for just might more readily accept you than they would another person you may come across opportunities first opportunities that no one has heard of like people might say oh i didn't even know that position was open but you'll be like the first person to hear about it that's part of your luck even towards getting it um, even if those previous things that I just said don't apply to you, the fact that you saw it before everyone, maybe your uh, application or your resume got reviewed first, something like that. You might hear about positions that nobody else has heard of in the sense that they're like, oh, I didn't even know that was a job. I didn't even know this company had that or I didn't even know think to apply to that. You'll have your ear more to the streets. You'll have your ear more open and you'll readily receive more information about jobs that other people just aren't even aware of. Some examples I've seen of this, I'm big on examples. Um, somebody was telling me they made like six figures doing, I don't remember, it was just some easy ass job. I was like, wow, that's amazing. How'd you get it? And he was like, yeah, I just found it on Craigslist. And it's just like, the needle in the haystack that just diamond in a rough thing that nobody else really thinks of you find it who would have thought to even look on craigslist for a six-figure job and i forget what it was but i remember it was just something easy which is why i said hey how'd you find it so opportunities like that come to you where you just kind of fall into something or stumble upon something that's really great career-wise one thing i've noticed i don't really like to connect the 10th house to family because it's not the fourth house to me and I like to give you guys the astrology that I believe in but I've noticed that family is hugely instrumental if you have Jupiter in the 10th house to you and your career and your success um, for example the Kardashians I mean if you think about it one Kim who has Jupiter in the 10th house who I'll talk about a little bit later um, is able to just bestow all of this kind of self-made if you want to call it success and fame or you can even attribute her fame to her father who was in the limelight with the oj simpson case um and so everyone is able to not saying everyone in her family has jupiter in the 10th house but just that being able to pass along and share the success that one person has gained and for everyone else to kind of piggyback or use it as a stepping stone to create their own success you know now we've got kylie cosmetics and kendall jenner has walked in some really high-end fashion shows and everyone's just kind of doing their own thing but it was really you know you can kind of trace back to what person brought the fame in um and how that really catapulted everyone else's career because who would kylie jenner or kendall jenner really be if they weren't born into that family that family influence of help and like pushing your career is something that uh jupiter in the 10th house can benefit greatly from not just in their family but 
a lot of times we do share success with our family so people can also be very untalented and kind of just float by on the backs of you know whoever is giving them this jupiter energy jupiter in the 10th house let's just say you have like a dad and he's got like his own construction business and he's got four sons and so the maybe the last son has jupiter in the um 10th house and he kind of just doesn't really do shit he doesn't really work that hard he doesn't care that much he doesn't try to educate himself or be progressive in the job he doesn't try to help out or expand or grow the business in any way he kind of just a he would have never gotten the job if it wasn't for the connection that he was just born into b he does not is not qualified for the job connection or not and does not even deserve the job even if the other two things apply or don't apply because sometimes these people just really don't put in work i've seen people really just float and kind of just let their mom or their dad or whoever get them a job and then they'll kind of just like fuck it up and then they'll they don't really care because they have this connection whatever it is to just keep getting great jobs so it can promote laziness and just lack of work because you've always kind of had it handed it to you always had it handed to you and you've always already kind of been successful by virtue of association i know someone a family member who has jupiter in the 10th house and she is so lazy and her mom will pay someone to do her resume pay someone to do her job application her mom has a lot of connections so that's the jupiter in the 10th house thing her mom will call people and be like hey can my daughter have a job here can she do this can she do that she's like i said not doing the resume she's not filling out the application she's not doing the work she doesn't drive herself or try to get to the interview on her own she kind of just shows up and by the connection of her mom gets jobs that are 17 18 dollars an hour as a young kid in this corona you know crazy recession thing that we've got going on and um yeah she doesn't try to work hard at all she just kind of floats on the back of her mom that's a jupiter in 10th house thing and it's so frustrating because it's like she never really learns because that abundance and that luck in her career she's never had to try why try if her mom is just going to pay people and, and pull her strings and work her magic to get her a job anyway what's the point of doing a resume or a job at I mean, obviously, there's tremendous value in it, but a Jupiter in the 10th house person who's always benefited like that might find it really hard to see, like, why they should try to do anything on their own without that connection at all. You might really love your job. I had a job, um, and this is a great example of Jupiter in the 10th house. Jupiter was actually transiting my 10th house when I got this job. Um, you might love a lot of things about it. Maybe you love the cafeteria and they serve great food. You get long breaks. Maybe there's TVs in the break room or it gets lots of days off or it's very flexible. Maybe you really like your coworkers. There can be a lot about your job or career, even if it's not, if it's just a typical nine to five that you just don't really care about, you can find a lot of joy in it or you'll just find jobs with a lot of perks. I, I work at a casino currently. But I used to work at a different casino before that. And around Christmas time, they would give out gift cards and they would um, have games in the back for us to play. It's no, so it's not like we're just dealing the games. I was a card dealer. To the customers, we're also taking part in the fun. And it was just kind of like lifting the morale and the spirits of people. We got a break every hour. We had great food. Um, I had great relationship with my bosses. So that's the type of environment that you might feel. Even though I don't give a damn about blackjack at all, there were a lot of perks about the job that just made it very enjoyable. It's going to sound a little contradictory, but you may have great work ethic. You may really enjoy work and really enjoy career. And so you might have a little bit of this Capricorniness in you to really work hard or you don't mind excessive work or long hours or you know stuff you don't mind putting the time and the energy into it you're also very optimistic about your career and this is a part of your success too you'll apply for jobs that a lot of people wouldn't even apply for because they wouldn't even have the confidence you're very optimistic like i think i can get this i think i can do this even if you don't really qualify or you're just kind of barely right there or there are a lot more qualified applicants above you you're somebody who will take the risk anyway because you genuinely believe with that Jupiter right there 
in the optimism and the luck of it and you think like there might be a chance like that phrase you know you got to play to win you really take that when it comes to career and so that will get you farther than a lot of people just because you tried and stepped out of the box in a way that most people were too scared to do this confidence and this optimism is even for when things are going bad even if you have a business and it's totally failing like it's just tanking or you know you're working for someone you think they might be going out of business or your position there might be threatened maybe they want to cut you out for whatever reason or whatever you're still optimistic and you still think things will work out and you still hope for the best you don't really let it get you down you don't really dwell in that oh my career is over my you know whatever you don't get like that you still feel like there's a way out of it or there's an alternative or there will be a happy ending somewhere in the future so that really keeps you going in dark times of your career because we will all have dark times in our career path but you have a more optimistic attitude throughout it than most you have a lot of enjoyment when your career is going well this is like when you haven't seen like your niece or nephew for like four months and then they just come through the house all busy and they're on their way you know to do something real quick and they're just like look really good like they look like they're dressed well they look like they've been eating well they look like they're happy they look like they were being productive, like all those, this is when you see somebody that you haven't seen in a long time, you're like, hmm, you must be doing well in life. That's kind of what Jupiter in the 10th house gives. So these people will be very happy when their career is going well. The happiness that they feel will spill into their life and then vice versa. So if they have a great day at work or a great week at work or their career or whatever it is is advancing in any way they're gonna come home and be nice to their wife and kids they're gonna uh, maybe want to hang out with their friends clean up around the house give the dog a treat like they are so happy and vice versa when things are bad at the job they're gonna come home and be very snappy um, not really want to talk that much they don't seem like they're doing well they just don't seem happy and joyful the joy and the career are very connected they can just be flat out grumpy if things aren't going their way at work. One very interesting case study that I always think of when I think of Jupiter in the 10th house, I think about Nicki Minaj. She has Jupiter in the 10th house and I feel like she's a really good example because this is somebody who has, you know, broken records in her field. She was really at the top of, you know, her industry for a while there weren't a lot of female rappers and there's still when you turn on the radio and you hear rap you mostly hear men so she was the only or these the woman for a while for maybe like a good 10 years um and you could really see the joy and the happiness when she was at the height of her career she seemed like she was always happy i mean i don't know her personally but she seemed very cocky seemed like she was like in her element the joy of her success radiated throughout her and then as we've seen the decline of Nicki Minaj's music um, her record sales just her popularity going down not selling as many records you start to see this grumpier side where she's kind of like lashing out at people she had a fight with Funk Master Flex she had um, you know and it was about the whole Cardi B versus Nicki Minaj where she feels like her, I'm assuming she feels like her career was taking a nosedive a little bit. So she's lashing out at him. She's lashing out at all these other people. Was Nicki Minaj and Cardi B on the motorsport record directing bars at each other? What the f You're not going to change the subject. I'm asking you a question. That's the same subject. No, the it's not. I said I knew the bitch was on a song. You said Jessie she Wendy Williams and she went on Queen Radio and had this to say. Three times in a row, bitch doing a show acting like she f***ing stuttering John. Talking about, is it me and Stutter? What does that mean? Does it mean that you have to kill someone? She's just gotten this reputation in this past couple years of being very angry. And I think that really had to do a lot because it coincided with right as things are going down career wise, she just seemed to have all these public outbursts with other people. 
I'm assuming that she seems to be very grumpy because her career, which was once this, you know, Midas touch type of thing where everything she was on was great, is not really looking like that anymore. And so it's like, I think it just put her in a bad place and she's lashing out at that. And then she had her retirement thing, which I don't know what that was because she still puts out music. But then again, the music is not that good and it doesn't. And I'm a huge Nicki Minaj fan, but her new stuff is just not, it's not there. Not for me anyway. So that's, a, she's a perfect example of if you follow her career and follow the articles that are written about her, they become progressively angrier and more negatively skewed as her career seems to kind of taper as careers do. Um, and so I, she, I don't know, she's just someone that I always love to watch when it comes to Jupiter in the 10th house. There's this great phenomenon. If you have Jupiter in the 10th, like I said, the law of attraction thing, if you want it, you will get it. You usually don't have a problem finding or keeping a job at all. Like some people can't find a job. People can find them, but not keep them. Like me, <laughs> um, People can have all different types of ups and downs um, in their career and in their stability, in their job. And you won't really have that. If you want a job, you can have it. These are the people who say, oh, I've been employed since I was 16 and they're like 35. They, they, if they want to be employed, they can be employed pretty much anywhere. But not only that, they will get what they want, like their first choice rather than any choice. But they'll always have a choice. Unless it's afflicted, but even still, Jupiter bestows good luck here. So even if it's afflicted, it, it you'd have to look at each chart individually to see how it's afflicted. But even an afflicted Jupiter here is a good Jupiter. I want to say if you have Jupiter in the 10th, if you manifest or pray or whatever you do before the interview and after the interview, you will most likely get it. That's what I did when I had Jupiter transit my 10th house and um, it worked for me. You will get along very well with your bosses and your employees and you don't have to kiss ass because some signs will do that. Like some placements like a Venus in Capricorn or, you know, I don't know, some other placements, but they will try to, they have to actively try to work hard to align themselves with the boss and get on their good side. And you don't have to try it all. You just naturally like your bosses and they'll just naturally like you. You naturally like where you work, your employees, your coworkers, most of the time. Um, and that'll bring you a lot of joy. And that also helps with your success because the more people like you, the more they'll be like, hey, let's give this promotion to this guy. Or, you know, we need a new manager. It can be you. It's like that. 10th house, like I said, is about your image and your reputation. You are seen as very Jupiterian, very joyful. People probably always see you laughing. Even if you're not always laughing, whenever people look over, it'll be like the moment that you are laughing. They will see you probably as big. You might be very tall, especially if you have like other Sagittarius placements. You might just be seen as a big person, but people will see you as like happy and jovial. People will want to be around you because they'll see you as just funny and fun and like happy-go-lucky. They'll kind of see you as like the best parts of a Sagittarius, which I feel like is what I just described. And that doesn't make it true. You can be a terrible person. I've seen terrible people with Jupiter in the 10th house, but the image for people who don't know you, people who don't know you well, would be someone they want to hang around because they see, you know, joy and happiness and who doesn't want to be around it they might see you laughing or having fun at lunch or just you know busting it up with the co-workers and they might think i want to be a part of that because people want to be around you you in a sense you can be very popular the 10th house is also about fame so you will be i don't know i don't want to say famous but like even if you're not on the cover of like vogue magazine which you very well could get to that level with this placement you'll be somebody like maybe everybody in your high school knows about you or everyone in your neighborhood you know wants to come to your party they know about your little annual barbecue thing you do where everyone will know you and you will be known your reputation will spread far and wide remember it's very expansive and the 10th house is about your reputation your reputation will spread some people have a reputation but it doesn't even spread far so it's like 
but your reputation not only is it good but it will be vast and you naturally enjoy this you naturally enjoy being in the public eye you naturally enjoy being the center of attention you don't mind if a lot of people are looking at you you don't mind a lot of people coming up to you talking about you talking to you you don't mind being known like maybe a 12th house jupiter person like myself we don't really want to be in the spotlight but you guys feel very comfortable you're like no i'm okay i like this here i like that this is very good if you are a celebrity because you will have a lot of paparazzi in your face you will have people you know write magazine articles about you and blog posts and a lot of people commenting about your personal life on your stuff and you're really okay with that you're comfortable with that which is great because you need to be if you're going to be take on this role in this life of being very well known now 10th house like i said well i didn't say it yet <laughs> is about what people say about you um i have moon in the 10th house so i am super sensitive about what people say about me um and how people react to me jupiter you may have an increased you know reaction to what others think of you but another way that this can manifest is that you're okay or you more easily brush off things because jupiter is about you know happiness and joy you're very buoyant when people are saying bad things about you so let's just say you have a celebrity and they're being attacked or bashed for whatever reason some celebrities even even had to go to the hospital um for just being so overwhelmed by the pressures of society just being so stressed out having anxiety attacks and doing drugs like being famous and being in the spotlight is not an easy thing it is hard but you will be more buoyant than others and less able to be dragged down by negativity you'll feel it and you'll see it but you can more easily and more quickly just kind of brush it off and keep going about your day you might not even care at all there could be very early indications or indications throughout your entire life that you're kind of in the spotlight this can be being in a school play being the lead in the school play, being like class president, being in a school newspaper. And I always relate it back to school and work because I want everyone to see like how planets can play out at different aspects and different times of your life. So I take it from school, which is where we all kind of start. And I take it into work and family and life. So I will always kind of take every example through that timeline, if that makes sense. You can be very famous at a young age. You can be a child superstar. Think about people they don't have. Well, I don't know if they have it. Um, people like Aaron Carter, people like Hannah Montana or you know, Miley Cyrus. Um, you can be very well known from the beginning in your career. You could have a career at a very young age. Most people spend their lives trying to be actors and you might just have it from the start. Um, Miley Cyrus is a really good example. Her dad is famous. She was able to use that connection or his whatever. I don't know how you get a Disney Channel show, but she has a Disney Channel show before she's 18. She's a millionaire before 18. Um, and all that is through the connection of her father because they don't just give out Disney Channel shows to anybody. So that's a, 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 another really good example of like 10th house Jupiter energy. Translating into adulthood, you can be an actor, a uh, politician is very big for this one. You can be somebody that's kind of in the spotlight, even if you're not super famous, some, like the, the weatherman, for example. Uh, me and my boyfriend, we call it weatherman famous, where it's like everyone knows your face and everyone's seen you, but people aren't like knocking down your door to try to get into your house. They know you, but it's not like that. It's like chill this is like the most exciting part i think if you want to be famous and you have jupiter in the 10th house don't give up because there's a really really good chance that you will be famous or if not even the traditional way of famous just very successful in your career your dreams like the highest dreams that you have imagined for your career are possible so don't give up even if you're older or you know you're later in your life it is still possible and if you try you most likely will get it you may also have a Jupiter Sagittarius like career where you know your career involves a lot of travel it may involve education or teaching foreign cultures foreign countries you may be even a comedian because you have you know everyone can see your funniness 
so and you're on stage and everyone's looking at you so stuff like that are the types of careers that you can have it does depend a lot on your sign so like a jupiter and libra might be um, a hairstylist to the stars because you've got that beauty the success the fame that's how that could come about and then if you have like jupiter and aquarius you might be you know front runner uh at a corporation an it corporation iphones you might be designing iphones you might be um working on computer chips just i don't know anything about technology but you know what i'm saying you might really progress in your field even if you're not famous you will also have a very long lasting career um i did mention Nicki minaj she's been famous for a very long time i mean i was in high school when did i first hear about Nicki minaj I think I was in eighth grade when I first heard about her, but she really became like onto the scene when I was in ninth grade and I was like uh, 2009 with that Bedrock song. And then um, she's still on the radio today. So, and I'm 25 years old. So that is what, 10 years, almost 11 years of her just being a household name, just worldwide famous um beyonce is another person i'm not a super big beyonce fan as you guys will come to find out but her career has been very successful i was listening to a beyonce cd well destiny's child cd when i was four years old and i will be 26 at the end of this year and beyonce is still on the radio so your career can be very robust from getting beginning to end remember i said careers can kind of taper like you can be like you know regular joe schmo and then you kind of get bigger and then everybody everybody falls off everybody does but if you have jupiter in the 10th you can just be like catapult and just be up here for a really really long time um before you come down and even when you come down you still kind of came down kind of up you do great at being a part of a business or starting your own business. You got a lot of energy for it. You have um, a lot of great ideas, a lot of hope, a lot of optimism, a lot of good connections, a lot of luck on your side. So anyone who kind of usurps you into their business or any business that you decide to start yourself, you'd probably be a great asset to. You may also have multiple robust careers. I'm going to use Master P as an example. Master P has a lot of things in his 10th house. He has like Sun, Saturn, and North Node, I believe. I'll put the chart right here. Um, and not Jupiter, but I just felt like this was a really good example of just like Jupiterian in the 10th house energy. So um, unfortunately, I think it was a malpractice lawsuit. His grandfather passed away. Um, he fought and was able to get ten thousand uh, dollars as a settlement. He used that settlement to start uh, a record store No limit record store that was then snowballed into um, a No limit records a music label and then master P he does so much he has a travel agency um, at least one Foot Locker, real estate I believe he has a real estate company where like he sells houses and he has like employees stocks he has a tv production company he has a car accessory company i think he owns like some food restaurants um and the ever famous rap snacks that i am not like a super big fan of but he produces rap snacks and they have um cardi b and the migos they had romeo on there for a while just that and i don't want to say that his grandfather passing was lucky but just the um example of multiple robust careers of how someone can take something that not all of us will get not all of us get ten thousand dollars from anywhere whether it be a settlement or anything rarely does that happen and so that while there could be many people who would take the money and kind of snowball it into a, an empire as he did even if they don't have jupiter 10th house some people will just never get that opportunity or they won't get it like that they have to work a lot harder but the jupiter in the 10th house will bestow you with seemingly random things that can help catapult your career um you can have many because jupiter is about expansion you can have many careers as the master p um, example and I think uh, a re another reason why I added this example in here is because his son, Romeo, has the Romeo show, which I never watched, 
but it was on Disney Channel. Um, Romeo is famous. I know a lot of kids my age that was part of, you know, their childhood. I was more of like a Phil, Phil of the future, you know, type of person. I like Lizzie McGuire, stuff like that. I never was a Romeo show fan, but that was big to a lot of kids. A lot of little girls like Romeo. They had a crush on him. They always watched the show for that. So again, his father, Romeo's father, Master P, being having this unexpected windfall, snowballing it into an empire, allows him to use the connection of his father to get a show and be a child star on the Disney Channel and be known, you know, and embedded in kids' hearts and childhoods forever. Even though those two don't have it, I just thought the way that it all unfolded over generations was just a good example for you guys to see. And also to see how someone can do, be very successful at multiple things all at the same time. Um, connections in high places, you might know a lot of entrepreneurs, politicians, a lot of rich people, famous people, whoever you connect to or whoever is in power, and it can be any type of power, you will know. Like um, my boyfriend does stand up comedy, like before Corona, and and you know, I didn't realize what, how political uh, open mic was for stand up. Like, you, you just, you have to go and write your name on the list. And I thought that once the show starts, they go down the list and they call you up and they do your thing. No, I found out that they will call their friends first. They will totally not follow the list because they don't follow the list. Sometimes they forget people. Um, we have waited three, four, um, he waited five hours. I never waited five hours, <laughs> but we have waited together three, four hours for him to get on stage just for someone to come and say, no, you can't do that. And you'd be surprised at just knowing someone who runs an open mic at a local bar or knowing someone who owns an art gallery. They don't seem to be important, prominent people. They're not politicians. They're, you know, they have regular day jobs, but a Jupiter and a 10th house person will have a connection that puts them ahead of the rest. You may have a very influential dad, a very successful dad, a very businessman like dad. You might always see your dad with a briefcase or with a suit on, always going to work, coming to work. Maybe he works a lot. Maybe he works too much. Maybe when he comes home, all he does talk about is work. Or maybe he's just very open about his work. Maybe whatever he does, you might just know a lot about it. I went to high school with someone whose dad was a tax lawyer. I'm sure that child knows so much more about taxes than I'll ever know, than I'll ever care to know, simply by virtue of just being close to someone who does know about it. And so your father may be very influential to you, for better or worse, and hopefully it's for better because we're talking about Jupiter. You may really overindulge at work, and this is touched on what I said a little bit more. Just imagine the busy father. You may have too many jobs. You can work too many hours. Somebody who may be working 60, 70, 80 hours a week. Like I said, somebody who's always coming home, talking about work, somebody that's constantly answering emails, maybe somebody who just never stops working. Like they're always working on the project when they're supposed to be maybe with their wife or they're supposed to be paying attention to the kids' basketball game. They're sending emails about the next project. Um, everything out of their mouth is about work, work-oriented. And it's hard for them because they really do enjoy their work so that's why they are spending so much time on it but it can be it can feel like a real imbalance to others i once worked at this restaurant for like three days so embarrassing um that's my moon in the 10th house is always flip-flopping so i was working at this restaurant for like three days and i met the boss and i forget his name and he was like so psychotic to me every we would work together for like 10 hours and I was a server, um, like burger and shake place. Um, and it was really busy. And every single thing out of this man's mouth was about, oh, I'm ordering new machines for the soda. How about that ice cream that we got in the back? And like the servers were talking about serving, of course, but we're also talking about, hey, we had a conversation about if you dye your hair blue, what's more important, your self-expression or your job? Where else have you worked? What are you doing this weekend? What do you like to laugh at? Do you guys wanna sit down and eat something? Do you guys wanna go take a smoke break together? That's how we were all conversing. And all day this man, just every single word out of his mouth 
was about the restaurant. And as a little quick side story, I had to scoop some ice cream and it was cold as shit. It was frostbitten ice cream in this humongous, humongous tub at the bottom of the freezer. Like it was barely any left and I'm scraping and I'm scraping with these little arms. Um, and I could barely get any ice cream out. So I'm supposed to make this big waffle sundae bullshit thing. I don't know. I fucked it up. I serve it to the customer anyway because whatever. To me, it wasn't that big of a deal. I would have eaten it myself, but the customer decided to complain and this sent him into a frenzy. He was like, <sighs> like he was really hyperventilating and he was saying, he was asking me what's going on. I was saying, look, like there's, there ain't shit back there. There's a bunch of frostbitten ice cream. It's like this much of it. And you want me to make this big, beautiful, you know, beautifully scooped waffle souffle. I don't even know what the fuck it was. And you're mad at me. It you're not really giving me nothing to work with I did my best and it was like my second day so chill out but he was so mad so he's telling the guy that should have been training me he's like you should have been watching her and he was really getting on the guy so I go to the guy and I'm like I'm sorry I feel like I got you in trouble he's like it's no big deal all day the boss is just grilling me and the guy who was training me he just keeps staring at us and he just keeps asking us about it for like the next hour or two I apologized to the lady he apologized to the lady and then all day he just stood in the corner and was just staring at like he was so disturbed like his, he wasn't happy he wasn't joyful because he had it was obvious that he in three days of me observing this he put so much into the restaurant that any little thing that went wrong with it totally threw him into a tailspin of negativity even though I'm not I wasn't a bad employee nor a bad person I didn't do it mount like with any malintention and it wasn't even a big deal you guys maybe i'm making it seem like i gave out a shitty dish but it just wasn't an extravagant dish and then everything that brought him joy that he did want to talk about was the soda nozzles new chairs i'm not even kidding on the third day i actually quit because of him on the third day i waited all day for 11 hours for him to say something that was not restaurant related and I never heard it one time and it was incredible because I've never heard anyone speak of one topic for that long without changing like even astrology like I don't even talk about this all day like it was that was Jupiter in the 10th house I guess that's an example of an afflicted Jupiter in the 10th house somebody who just kind of takes it too far it's like calm down it's okay so some advice that I would say for this is to try to strike a balance. Um, Jupiter is in the 10th, which is opposite of the 4th, which is home and family, and kind of like our roots and where we come from. Try to really strike a balance. Set aside time for work where you're going to give it your all and focus in um, on the joy of that, the joy of working on the project, the joy of the success, everything that you enjoy about your job. Have a block for that, whatever that is for you. And then have a block where you're going back to your roots, hanging out with friends, family hanging out by yourself putting your phone down paying attention just really being present in the moment and not always thinking about what's next what's next and that somebody that's always thinking like that might really lose out on just stopping the smell on the roses that are in front of you so enjoy your child's basketball game enjoy dinner with your family enjoy solo time and don't make everything about work and don't talk about work all the time when you go home because people aren't interested like i hate to break it to you the only person that is interested in it is most likely you unless you have a really cool job like you're just i don't know like a Nicki minaj or a kim kardashian nobody wants to hear about your job all day even if you might want to talk about it so just try to learn practice changing the subject and just getting out of work mode sometimes you may have a huge social media presence, um, or just a huge online presence. Um, the 10th house is your online persona. So this is somebody that just probably has millions and millions of Instagram followers. I mean, Kim Kardashian, Nicki Minaj, just the whole Kardashian family in general. Over 150 million followers. Like, can you imagine just that influence of you posting a picture and that many people? being able to see it and those are just the people who follow them not the people not everyone because i don't even follow um all those people and i like them so just everyone who will eventually see your stuff these are people that may have millions of subscribers on youtube um 
just fan pages, stuff like that. Your online presence will be very big. Some more famous examples of Jupiter in the 10th house. We have Chris Brown. We have Kim Kardashian, who I said, Nicki Minaj, who I said, um, Angelina Jolie. We have Prince William. These people are worldwide famous. Everybody knows them. Um, and they're really at the top of their field. I mean, Kim Kardashian, I don't even know what field you would put her in. I guess just beauty influencer field. She's at the top of her field. Chris Brown has been, not only had a robust co career for, since, excuse me. Chris Brown's first album came out when I was in fifth grade. I was 10 years old. So he has been world famous. Just, you know, really putting out great top of the charts music, or at least the top of my charts. Um, for the last 15 years, Prince William is mega famous. I mean, he is royalty in his country and really across the world because I, I don't even know where, where they're from. UK, Britain is at the same place. I don't know. And I still know of him. So that just shows you like their, how vast their reach is and their reputation is. And you can actually look and see the sign that the Jupiter is in and the sign on their midheaven because it's not always the same and it will show you what they're famous for. Chris Brown, his midheaven is in Taurus, but I believe his Jupiter is in Gemini, but still known for being very attractive, very good looking. Taurus is the throat, singing, beautiful voice. He's known for that. So yeah, those are just examples of Jupiter expanding your reach to others. Steve Jobs, also another one. On a lesser note, you may be known for your religious beliefs or you may always be speaking and spreading and teaching your religious beliefs. You may be known for having far out beliefs. Um, well, everyone I think thinks that someone else's beliefs are far out if they differ from theirs, but you may just be known for what you think. Um, the rapper B.O.B did not have a super, you know, long lasting career. It wasn't very robust, in my opinion, again. But when I think of B.O.B., I always remember one of the last things I heard about him was he was on The Breakfast Club, I believe, and he was saying that the earth was flat and it was just like, what? He was like known for that. Like that was headlines for like a week or two or something like that. Like you'll be known for your beliefs. And you know, I don't know if the earth is flat around. I believe it is round, but in what you believe will be known to others and then others will have a chance, like I said, to come back and comment and give their opinions about you. But maybe he didn't care. That's just a really good example of Jupiter and 10th Jupiter House energy. He was like, I'm gonna say what I believe. I'm gonna say what I think. He probably knew, I hope he knew he was gonna get backlash for that. But you still do it anyway because you believe in promoting what you believe in. Joel Osteen, he did not have, I looked up his chart. I don't believe he had, I'm gonna put it on the side. I should have been more prepared. <laughs> um, I don't think he has Jupiter in the 10th because I did look it up, but this is just somebody who's known for, actually very well known because I don't watch sermons. I'm not a big uh, church goer. And I don't, I watch a little Joyce Meyer or Mayer sometimes, but that's pretty much it. But he is known for his religious beliefs. He is known for his beliefs in general, for his spirituality. He is very well known in his field, kind of like a famous pastor, if you want to call it. So that's another cool example. Look at Joel Olstein and just this famous rich ass pastor as um, an example of how Jupiter in the 10th house and the religious and the teaching part of it can really be manifested. Um, Joel Osteen is a good example of that. The lessons to take away, I would say, go after your dreams with all your might and know that the universe has your back. They want you to succeed. That's why this Jupiter was given to you. Um, they want you to reap all the benefits and the rewards and the joy of it. So go after it, whatever it is, 1000% and you will attain it. You know that silly um, phrase, shoot for the moon, even if you miss it, you land on the stars. Just go as far as you can because the universe wants to take you far. And yeah, enjoy that. Soak all that up. But don't forget to take in the joys of life that are in front of you because I always say this. 
one house is just a tiny one twelfth, which is a eight percent, I believe. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's just a little slice of the pie of your entire life, and you really don't want it to get. You really don't want the whole needle chart to be drowned out just because you've got Jupiter here. So really take time to be present in the moment. Take time away, have work time and other time. And when you're in that other time, just value that and be there. Um, but other than that, this is like one of my most envious, like whenever I see this, I'm like, damn, like I really want this one. This is such a great placement. Very few drawbacks, so many pros. And yeah, that is Jupiter in the 10th. So please like, please comment, tell me how you think I did. Please subscribe. Please follow me on Instagram at carabeard underscore artista. I will also put it in the link and I will pin the comment as well. So uh, until next time, see you guys. And next video is Uranus in the 10th house. So.